Hello everybody and welcome back to my shop. Uh, let's see, today, since we've got this thing running, good, en good enough to uh, do a road test. We've got a few more things to button up before we uh, take it down off the jacks. One of which is to replace that leaking rear end cover gasket. That gasket looks bigger than, I've not crawled under there and uh, measured it yet, but boy, it does look bigger than the, what the rear cover plate looks like. But anyway, we're going to go under there and pull that other plate off and get some grease in that transmission and uh, in the U-joint uh, uh, bell crank housing, and then we're going to go from there. decided uh, from running this thing about an hour and a half here in the shop and uh, it's sitting for three days that uh, that radiator block cleaner should have had plenty of time to uh, done its magic all right let's drain the block pit cock if I can get to him. Right. Now he's barely dripping, so there's a lot of uh a lot of rust in there more than likely and uh, about the only way I can clean that out would be to screw that out and poke around so I'm just going to let it slowly drip and drain down like it is and then once it's done I'll take that petcock out and I'll poke around in there and see if I can't uh, get it to drip faster all right Alright, after removing the petcock and poking around in there with a uh, metal uh, coat hanger, I got all kinds of crud out that was stopped up there at the hole and it was gushing out pretty good. Now it's got a good, uh, a good flow going down, so anyway, there we go. It's about running out clear now, so I think I got most of that crud out of the way. And that's that's what I want to see right there. Nice clean water coming out of the back of that block. Well, good deal. underneath here I'm about to pull that cover off you can see here he's been a leaking pretty good uh, I'm gonna guess it's the cover but it's hard to say we'll know more when I get it off all right here's a look inside a 70 year old rear end now our rear differential now i don't know if this has ever been opened since new i'm going to imagine it has but uh i don't know uh i don't know if any gears have been changed but if you look at the teeth on these gears i don't see any chips any gouges any scrapes i mean i don't i know this truck hasn't been worked on by anybody other than me 
since 69 because it was parked in 69 so I don't know what was done prior to 69 but I am just so impressed with the condition of this of the gears in this 70 year old rear end I mean I had no problems no whining no bad sounds other than just a leak and uh, I believe the leak may be from the uh, bolt holes, the bolts probably, because they weren't very tight. They probably just were loose from the years of use. But anyway, that's a four, that's, this is a stock 411 gear uh, uh, rear end in a 49 Chevrolet pickup. Since that gasket's not going to work, I'm going to try to make a gasket out of some RTV. Now I've been successful with this uh, ultra gray on some uh, on the when I had to take apart the front end of uh, the front drive axle of uh, my Kubota tractor and replace some seals, and it's sealed and it's been holding good on about a hundred hours now. So I believe this will do too. Uh, I guess we'll see shortly. now we're under we're going to put some grease in the transmission because we leaked some out when we took it out and in the uh the u-joint uh ball housing this is the fill right here for the u-joint ball housing uh and this is the fill right here for the transmission these are the plugs that uh normally do them so we're going to get set up and start filling them Alright, I've got the transmission filled and now I'm filling the uh, the uh, ball housing, the U-joint ball housing. Now, from what my research indicated, I should have filled it with about a half a pint of, uh, of, of the 8090, same oil that I put in the transmission. What I'm going to do is I'm putting the full pint in it, uh, maybe a little hair more. Now, what will happen is some of that will run out and down the... Uh, ball housing into the dry into the torque tube and some may even overflow back into the transmission which is okay uh, what overflows back into the uh, down into the torque tube will lube up those uh, the uh, bushings that supports the uh, the actual propeller shaft uh, well what we call drive shaft inside the uh, torque tube so that's my uh, that's my thought is to get some uh, oil down into those bushings for this. I haven't uh, engaged the uh, transmission yet. I've just been driving and running in neutral. So uh, the next test before I put it down is I'm going to see what happens when I put it through some gears up on the stands. So anyway.
good that showed that, but I went through my gears, no unusual sounds, my wheels were spinning. I believe this puppy is ready to come down off the jack stands if it's not leaking. So we're going to take a little tour here and see if we're leaking. All right, it's on its, it's off the jack stands and on its skins. And I hope I'm done from being underneath this thing for one more time. Here's my hazmat suit. Worked up down there. Anyway, if it wasn't pouring the rain right now, We'd be out there test driving, and who knows, we may be just test driving here in a minute or two. Let's see how the weather holds. <laughs> 